Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Peterborough United, and they face Luton Town. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Smodix. It looks promising. Not the pass he had in mind. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Elects to go short. Campbell. Will he find the net? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And played short. Campbell. Has the strength to hang on to it. Magnificent defending. Throw-ins given. Well, possibilities in the centre. Campbell. Cornick. Chance to finish. And a crucial intervention inside the box. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And now passing it through. Can they nudge in front? And a goal! To open the scoring, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Campbell. Pelly, Ruddick and Panzu. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. If you'd like to get yourself some post-match snacks. Now can they create something? And turned onto the woodwork. Giving it a try. Flinging himself at it, a keeper.
And there's the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Corner again. And over it comes, and clearing it away. Fuchs. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Lansbury. Fluency of movement. Oh, showing excellent vision. And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Cornick just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. So almost at half-time and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Showing a real will to win the ball. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Cornick. Pelly Ruddick and Panzu. And half-time it is. An acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the home side. They're on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, that's so much better. They look well organised, they've been alert to danger and their work rate has been excellent. That's a really good first half display. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway. Kelly, Ruddick and Panzu. Campbell. Firing it towards goal. And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Johnson, Clark, Harris. Marriott. Clark, Harris. Patient build-up at the moment. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Campbell. Surely they've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating well here we can see it again and it's all about the pace of the passing one touch slick movement but the keeper should do better in his near post that's gone in far too easily that's not good goalkeeping So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Marriott. Not oh, terrific pass. And keeping it out. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here.
delivering it. Frankie Kent. Fuchs. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And what a magical save it was! Well, they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Number 23, Henry Lansbury, to be replaced by number 18, Jordan Clark, and number 12, Robert Snodgrass. He's driven in the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Played into the centre, and the danger's still on. Able to close down the shot. Twenty minutes to go. There to take it away. Well, the players should be inspired by this. The crowd have really got behind them today. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. And the substitution will occur now. Jordan Clark on the offensive and he's broken free keeper getting the touch on a time for composure on the ball Kent Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts, as always. Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game. They've just not created enough clear-cut chances. There's still time, though. They just need to get the ball into the danger area. Well, they get the ball once more. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Clark. An authoritative challenge. Frankie Kent and Smodix has it well can they turn one of these attacks into a goal but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defense and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned well on the plus side they looked a threat going forward but as we mentioned before the game they look so fragile at the back they just don't have a defensive structure and once again they've lost the game